My name is Jim Watkins, and at present I'm stood on the former colliery site, which is Six Bells, or, or to put it correct name, Harold Griffin. And I'm stood on the site of the Miners' Memorial. I was employed here as an electrician, and in the year 1960, there was an explosion where 45 miners lost their lives on the 28th of June. Uh, and I'm stood on that site at the present time. As a matter of fact, I said I was an electrician. There's a little bit of a twist to my, to my interview, that on the, the, the day in question, which is a, a Tuesday was the day of the explosion, which is, a as I say, the 28th of June. Prior to, that, prior to that, on the Monday, I was interviewed by the chief engineer and he told me that on the Tuesday, a particular job that I'd be working on. When I went to work on the Tuesday morning, which is the day of the explosion, I spoke to a, a person that was working on it previously to me. He hadn't completed the, the, the job. He told me how much had to be completed. I said, right, I, I understand. I then rang the chief engineer and I said, I can't now, can't complete it because I'll need help. And he considered, he considered it and for a moment, he changed his mind and he said, well, we won't do it today. I had arranged to walk in there uh, to, to the site of the explosion with a young lad. As a matter of fact, he was the youngest person that was involved in the explosion. And unfortunately, on that particular day, he walked in one direction to the disaster, and I fortunately walked in the opposite direction to safety. Uh, and that has been on my mind all those years, since 1960, how so simple by a person changes in mind or how I was saved and the other one was sent to the disaster. Uh, this, I'm, I'm stood on the supply yard as a matter of fact at the present time. This is not the where the shafts, the shafts are a little way past me. But you'll see behind me uh, a memorial and it's known as the Guardian. And uh, every, throughout, particularly through the spring and the summer, People come from all over the country, and I really mean all over the country, they come here to visit this site to see where the explosion happened. We had a lot of discussion in which way the monument should be pointing, and it's pointing there towards Abertillery, and I hope we've got it right. It was opened by myself and the Archbishop of Canterbury. We both spoke here on this particular day. Um, it's one of those days that I'll never ever forget. But, but there we are, it's a, it's a tribute to the lads it is. And, and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think that I could have possibly been one of those people so easily. But uh, there we are, there we are, there we are. I was lucky, very, very lucky.